Hey there guys, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. Today is all day Yu-Gi-Oh! Day. Putting up three parts in one day, and then tomorrow I'll do the final part. There we go, it's Yugi and Joey, they've come to the rescue. Yugi lands at Milford Haven, yada yada. Hurry to what? Okay, a new opponent. Clashing swords. Against... Some guy I've never ever seen before. Like, who the blazes is that guy? Anyways, my deck is ready. Gotta switch back to my main deck, the water deck, because the insect deck will probably not stand much of a chance. Not that it's bad or anything, but my water deck's just better. Hence the higher deck costs. Well, on against that guy. You must be one of Lord Crawford's Rose Crusaders. Your timing couldn't be better. Oh, he thinks I'm one of them. However, I arrived much too early. That sucks. Be some time before Lord Crawford and his men arrive. In the meantime, why don't we play a duel or two? Okay, he thinks I'm on his side. And he wants to duel me. For some reason. Which is not particularly clear to me. But who cares? Let's just get it on. Against this guy on his grass field. Well, I figure I can easily defeat him. I mean, considering how easy all the previous opponents were. Um, okay, get Aqua Dragon in the next turn. That'll be a good start. Phantom Dewan might be useful to lead with, though. Just in case he tries something. Like creating a super powerful monster that's likely to destroy me, and his deck leader is the Battle Steer. Well, let's just take a step back and just throw Man Eater Bug down there for no particular reason. Don't know why I did that, because Phantom the One will f keep that monster spellbound for three turns. So why would I need to place Maneater Bug there? There we go! Spellbound. And what is it? I think it was like... Couldn't really tell. The Judgment Hand. Oh, it's the Epic Lightning Finger Point. Well, I guess it's time for Aqua Dragon to make his grand entrance and sweep the field and whatnot. And then we'll just see what he's going to do about it. I mean, this guy at least is attacking me unlike some others. Oh. Okay, he has some Japanese chick with a giant meat cleaver. Who seeks to take on my powerful super dragon. Well, let's just see what she's gonna do. My, that's an awfully big sword for such a little girl. Walking and jumping and slashing. That's rather boring. But then again, that's what most warrior monsters do. Unlike Judgment Hand, who does an awesome lightning epic finger point. Oh, well, we can't all be blue fire breathing dragons, can we? Ah, I can smell victory already. Victory is mine. Pretty damn sure of it. I mean, I haven't lost to anyone in this story so far, and I'm not about to lose here. And he already loses 1650 life points. And because his judgment hand is locked there, he's going to lose a lot more. Oh, that's convenient. Let's just get that over there. Make it 3750 in the water. And then we'll proceed to smash his judgment hand. Which will not stand a ghost of a chance. Or chance if you're American. I never understood that, like the tomato tomato thing. The British are just weird. Maybe it's because they drink tea every day. 
can be good for you. I mean, drinks should be cold, not warm. Silly British. And they drive on the wrong side of the road. Because they need to feel different. Oh well. The judgment hand dies. So no more epic finger points will be seen until Prince Boot 21 finally starts Phoenix Wright 3. Which I think he should. Because it's... I want to see that game very, very much. But he loses another 1850, which puts him down to 500. So yeah, this duel is not going to last much longer. Especially if he... Uh, he just plays it in defense. That blows. Well, at this point, I don't need Man Eater Bug anymore. Oh, Roaring Ocean Snake. That's going to be the final nail in the coffin. Or do I now just put him down there? Because then I'll be in the water terrain and have a little movement head start. Then I'll create some ocean there. Yeah, this duel is not going to take another two turns. Now smash that M warrior. Oh, okay, that means I don't have to fear anything from that monster either, because M Warrior 2, when it gets flipped up, it powers up M Warrior 1 by 500 points. But M Warrior 1 is still awfully weak, so no need to fear anything from there. Oh man, this guy is so predictable. Time for Blue Fire! How many times have we seen this attack already? Must be like over 20 times. Well, Aqua Dragon is... THE monster that carries my deck. I mean, without Aqua Dragon, I would be... I would not be doing so well. Although Roaring Ocean Snake is a close second, and Kairu Shin is pretty good too. Another main stage like Green Kappa and Sword Stalker. I have some good monsters in my deck. Well, I'm right in front of you. What are you going to do about it? Like to see him get out of this one. And he takes the wrong way. If he went left and put a monster to his right, I would not have been able to get to him. But of course, he has to mess up. So we'll have to punish him for it. Awkward Ryan, take him down. With what would almost be an insta kill. Apart from 250 attack points. Well, there we go, that was easy. Oh, finally, Aqua Dragon gets a promotion. It's about damn time he did. I mean, that is like my most used monster, and he gets promoted at the end of the freaking LP. And I get two freaking fake traps and the beautiful head huntress. Oh well. But now I can use Aqua Dragon as my deck leader, but I won't because that means I'll lose my only Aqua Dragon copy. Because you can't use your deck leader as well as on the field. What do you expect from beginner? Right? Don't let it bother you. The important thing is how I perform on the battlefield. With support of Lord Crawford and Rose Crusaders, victory will be ours for the taking. Yeah, get real. I'm afraid it won't be that easy, sire. Who's that? Who? What? Hey, it's Pegasus. What's he doing here? It's about time, and what exactly are you talking about, may I ask? I fear that aside from Seto, all the Rose Crusaders have fallen at the hands of the Rose Duelist, which is me. They were beaten by the very person you've just had the pleasure of dueling, sire. I present you with the Rose Duelist. Ta-da! What? That's not possible! I add that I have decided to join Yugi and the Lancastrians in the bid for power. Oh, he's a backstabber. What? Longer what? My match with the Rose Duelist taught me the true meaning of power. Yeah, not doing a single... Yada yada. Pegasus, you suck. You were the worst opponent of all. I mean, you didn't even attack me once. And so did, so did Ishtar. Would be a fool not to back the winning horse. Yep, Pegasus is a backstabber. And what if a hostage son, Lord Crawford? Ooh, his son is taken hostage. You wouldn't dare touch a hair on his head if you and your troops are defeated. Pegasus has a son. 
did not know that. Anyways, Yugi is here and it's time for bloody carnage. Yes, instead of fighting each other with cards, they fight each other with shields and swords and spears and purple horses. Yeah, final battle of the War of the Roses. Sometime later, the guy's dead. A horse, a horse. My kingdom for a horse. No, oh, that's that's where that quote's from. I remember that from like worms. It was like this British worm goes, Donkey, donkey, my kingdom for a donkey. Or something. And who gets the new crown? This long shirt royalty from the temples of this wretch have I plucked off. To grace thy brows with all. Wear it, enjoy it, and make much of it. The victory brought about by Yugi Strip signaled the end of over 330 years of rule under the Plantagenet. I suck at history. My thanks to you, General. Without your help, this victory would not be ours. Earning the respect of Lord Crawford and enlisting his aid ensured the fall of. Richard the Third, I cannot thank you enough. Yeah, without me, this would never have happened. For I would have hated to be on the losing side. You backstabbing son of a bitch. Now all that's left of the enemy is a despicable Seto. Where might he be? Me best guess would be Stonehenge, matey. So Stonehenge it is. I hate to admit it, but I doubt that we have power enough to take out a duelist of his level. So you're saying he's better than you. So Kaiba wins in the end. Face the evil one and end his threat once and for all. Master, let's go. To where? To Stonehenge. Where we started our journey and where we will end it. Seto. You're here much sooner than I expected. I knew that Crawford would turn on us one day, but... I didn't expect the tide of battle to turn so soon. Actually, Crawford's betrayal and the fall of the orchids matter not to me. Oh, he also had a secret agenda. Find an opponent worthy of my... Attention, yeah, that's definitely me. Each time a member of my... Roast Traders fell before you, I shivered in anticipation. Once you beat the last member, I knew you were ready to face me. Yeah, but because they put up such a challenge. Let's just see if you're better than them. If you have my Roast Traders, then take it from me. Face me in battle. Duelist, as you say, it will happen. Time for the final showdown against Kaiba. And his deck leader is obviously the blue eyes white dragon. You go, Yugi was the dark magician, so Kaiba has the blue eyes white dragon. And I get Aqua Dragon on the first turn, so hell yeah. Unfortunately, Spring of Rebirth does not power up Aqua Dragon. But that does not really matter. For I will defeat him nonetheless. And, uh, crap, he can move two spaces. It's my all over again. Oh well, I guess we'll just throw Aqua Dragon out in that general direction and see where that takes us. Now, Kaiba, your move. See if I can get another... Like a Yu-Gi-Oh! anime-esque Deus Ex Machinima win on this one. Okay, Aqua Dragon's closing in. Preparing for the kill. Why the hell do I still have freaking tenderness in my deck? I hate that thing. Uh, let's see, next turn I can summon Kairyu Shin. Although I think these two might fuse into something. Now let's just not waste points on that. Do it the opposite way around. Okay, they don't fuse. Well, the battle against Skype will continue tomorrow in the finale of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses, so bye-bye.